Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the intrinsic value of Khalid Sciences. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty, there is one thing I need to point out to you. So running my numbers by virtually all metrics, Khalid Sciences would be in a buy range, which means you should go do further research, read their 10K, read, read their 10 Qs, and figure out whether this is a company for your portfolio. I like to run my numbers first, exactly like everything money, to see if I need. I want, even wanna look further at a stock. Every metric that I run on this is telling me that I should look further. Whether I'm gonna do that, I don't know, I may. I have some concerns though with this stock. The major concern is the uh, free cash flow from investing. It's negative. I don't know why that is. It could be because management is heavily investing in the future of this company, or it could be for whatever reason. I don't know. You would need to explore that more, but let's just look at this from a numbers standpoint. So we have a share price of $67.48, a market cap of $84 billion. Its price to earnings ratio currently is 11.46, its five year is 17.27. Its earnings per share is currently $5.86, its five year is $7.78. Your free cash flow is currently 9.49 billion, and it's five year is 10 billion. I use 10 billion down here. Okay, so what are we looking at? I have growth rates for this stock, spare cases of five, seven, nine, bull cases of 11 and 13% growth. Free cash flow it should generate is 4.23 billion. It generated 10 billion, which using just quick numbers, these are not set in stone. Of uh, using a multiple of 20, that gives you a $200 billion market cap and a share price of $158.73. And using a multiple of 15, $119.05. We'll cut the difference and call it $138. All right, massively undervalued. Its gram number is 47. So usually, when I run the math, a gr your gram number usually comes out to about a 20% return. So you're a little bit, you're shy of that. But I'm telling you, this is greater than a 12% return and you'll see why in a minute. Guru focus on a forward cash flow value has it at $68. So it is right at its intrinsic value and a discounted cash flow of $86. I don't know what numbers they use. I do this in a little bit different way. You have total shareholder equity of 21 billion divided by the shares. It gives you a book value per share of $17. When I add my cash flows back in, that gives me a stock price of $106, but they are buying back shares. So to account for that, if you are expecting, and this is actually under what their share price they were buying, what their shares they were buying back of 3% uh, per year for the next 10 years. For a 10% return, you'd want to pay $139 for this company. So there you go, massively undervalued. Come over here. <clears throat> we'll look at the cash flows. You're looking at a high range here. It, for a 10% return of $169, if you believe that it's going to sell at a price to earnings ratio 10 years from now of 25 and a low end of $87, all the way down to an 11 price to earnings ratio of $74, and on the low end for 5% growth, $38. What does all this do? All of this is just to help me look at different numbers in different scenarios to decide whether it's a good buy. This is set up for a 10% and a 15% look at the company, which gives you a 12.5% return, which is a good margin of safety. 
you come over here using a terminal multiple of three on its cash flows for a 10% return, you're looking at a share price between 85 and $125, depending on what you believe, but it gets better than that. If you were looking for a 15% return, it just depends on what you believe, what numbers you believe that it's going to produce. If you think that a 10% return per year on the on the stock is good, you're looking at if you're a 10% growth rate. I'm sorry, I misspoke. If you're looking for a 10% growth rate, this is a buy all day between $72 and $80 to give you a return of 15%. When I average my numbers together, I am getting right about Guru Focus's $81.86. Add in some share, I did 1.2 here, whatever, we can switch that to 1.3, but it's gonna end up coming right about, you're looking at $106 stock. Then we come over here, and this just depends on what you believe. For this one, for a market cap of $561 billion, you're looking at all you need to generate is, what did I have that set up at? 10, 9% return. If you expect Galeed Sciences to grow at 9%, which I actually think is reasonable in there, you're looking at a share price of $445 10 years from now, doing a discounted cash flow for a 12% return, you're looking at a $96 stock, accounting for share buybacks, you're looking at $124 stock. So, I mean, this just comes down to what do you believe? I would classify this as a more research stock because my numbers are telling me that I can get between a 12 and 15% return on this. Everything money, I use their software, they have it between 25 and 195 on a multiple of earnings and a discounted cash flow of 43 to 284. I would have to look at their numbers, but I'm getting on a free cash flow basis of 24 up to $169 on my cash flows. But any way you look at it, this is a more research stock. I really do need to compile a list and add this to Discovery Financial and the possibility of reading into their 10K further because I don't know what to tell you. This is looking like it's a buy all day. I just would need to do some more research to confirm it. And on top of that, you're getting a nice fat little dividend of 4.2. Now, I didn't run their dividend safety score in this, but they do have uh, free cash flows. So overall, what would I say about Galeed Sciences? I would say that this is a stock that you should do more research on. If you're looking, if you understand the uh, pharmaceutical industry or the biosciences industry, and you understand the products they're marketing and the market that they're appealing to, I would say go ahead and do some more research in this. You might have found, I might have found a little gem in here, or you, whatever. I don't want to sound arrogant because. Everybody, you're going to be wrong on a certain number of stocks. Everybody is. It's just eliminating the hype from the market so you can look at the stocks you think are going to give you a good solid return. So there you go. Galeed, looking like a buy. I'm not sure. I'm not buying anything right now till the end of the year. So if you are in the market for a pharmaceutical uh, slash bioscience company, Galeed might be the stock for you. And also, my numbers are generally extremely conservative, and I do that to bake in a margin of safety. So you might run the numbers and come up with a higher upside. That's on you, because if I run these numbers back to 
it looks like a buy all day long. It even looks like a buy if you're looking for a 15% return. And it's in that 12.5 range that <clears throat> you want to look for. <clears throat> so like and subscribe. I'm not going to drag this video out anymore. And there you have it. Galeed Sciences. Looking like a quality stock. Just do more research because I don't know why their cash flow from investing is negative. I didn't look that up. This is a tool to just quickly eliminate a stock. So thanks for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe and I'm out.